Hey, welcome back. It's Chuck here with Milton Daily Homes, and we got to eight properties today. The first thing I wanted to mention to you is this whole two schools of thought. And I had a nice conversation last night with uh, with a client, and so I said to him, I said the two approaches that people normally take is they're either gathering information as early as possible, they're coming to the buyer class, they're going on uh, the tour of homes, they're getting emails about homes that match their specific criteria. And the other side is people who uh, only when they're ready decide to do anything. And that's fine too. I often wonder if a little bit of, of work on in the early stages, even six to 12 months before you're ready, is going to save you time on, on the other side. It's going to potentially tell you what you need to budget so you have a clearer idea of your costs. Uh, your emails will start to make a lot more sense when you've actually seen some in person. So there's a lot of advantages of starting the process very early. And we've got a lot of steps, and I pointed them out yesterday, just on this side is taking a tour, coming to a class, meeting with us. It's all an opportunity for you to stay safe and to make better choices when you're going through the process. So again, take us up on those if you want, but it's it's a very interesting thing. I, I'm curious what what side you fall into and if um, you know if it's really going to be to your best interest so uh, anyhow <laughs> food for thought but let's uh, let's get to today's listings and so the first one up is 1025 Kennedy Circle it's at 359.9 and so this particular property is going to face the plaza that has Metro uh, Shoppers Drug Mart Starbucks so it's going to be facing the back end of Metro and which I'm not a huge fan of. I think there's a lot of light and everything coming from that plaza. Inside, there's a lot of windows here, and it's basically just this front room here, and then it sort of bends around to the uh, the kitchen. It says it's 50 and 70 square feet. To me, these homes feel a little bit smaller than that, uh, but it's a decent-sized kitchen. They've done a wonderful job with the uh, the upgrades and the color finishes. The uh, This agent always takes excellent photos, and you can see even upstairs, they've upgraded some of the flooring. This is how you stage a home, okay? So you've got the rolled towels. You got These are folded nicely. They're fluffy. It's fantastic, okay? So just great presentation all around. And I know if my daughter saw that, I'd probably be buying this home because she wouldn't let me live another minute without moving into a room that looked like that. So wonderful feature. Um, Maybe not to everyone's taste. I mean, maybe you have all boys. Maybe you don't have kids at all. You want to turn that room into a home office. But boy, it'd be a shame to uh, to get rid of that because it looks terrific. And then you can see that even these trees are going to start to grow out. And you're going to have a little bit more privacy in the backyard. So, you know, I think this compares like to some of the main streets. I mean, there's semis that go up in the 370s that are the same size. And really, this being an end unit townhome, very, very similar. Um... I, I like it. I think the price is good. I think for what it is, it's certainly an attractive thing. So Dowglish is the next one, 409. It's a semi-detached. It's possible that they've listed as a semi, and it's actually a link, and that it's only linked by the garage. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't seen uh, enough of this one to really tell. Walk in the front door, real defined entryway, and then you have a living dining. And there's a little fireplace in the corner. There's your living. There's your dining. There's your kitchen there, and nice upgrades in the kitchen too. I think uh, that little effect down here, I think, is a nice little difference. It defines the counter compared to the backsplash, and you've got your iron pickets on the stairs. Um, good looking stuff. I think for four oh nine, I uh, the for some reason detached. I get townhouses. I even get, but for some reason the semis that sort of float around the four. I always seem to be surprised at what they sell for and uh, and what they list for. So maybe it's just me. The nine foot ceilings on that one are another thing that really set that one apart from a lot of the you know the Madame stuff in Hawthorne Village. So Clover Park is at four sixty nine nine, and all you need to know is it's a detached home with a double car garage on a fifty three almost a fifty four by a hundred foot lot. And uh, as far as I can tell, it says it's fronting on the east side of the street. So you're not, there's uh, some parts of Clover Park will back on to Derry. Some parts will back on to Bronte. From what I can tell, that doesn't appear to be the case here. And uh, four bedroom home, you've got four washrooms. And 
I'm guessing it's probably not good, like it's not perfect inside, but I think there's a ton of value, especially if you're willing to do a bit of cosmetic work. And again, there's no photos, so hey, it might look perfect, but for this price, I think it's really gonna, uh, it's gonna attract a lot of attention. So that's a really unique one. That's one of the ones I definitely sound the bell and jump on top of it as soon as you can. Uh, Hagenbotham is the next one, it's at 474.5. And so it's a spirit, I think it's a plan for, it's 1835 square feet. And so you've got, that's a little front room, I believe, where people can have it as an office. They've decided to do a little bit of a, a kind of a second TV area. And, uh, and then you move forward in the house. So that room, there's your front door just to the right and then to the left and back is that front room. You've got your dining area, the kitchen is over here and then you also have a family room straight ahead. Looks like a big, thick slab of granite in the kitchen. Nice appliances. And uh, they get a bit of an eating area plus the family room too. So it's got a great floor plan. Very modern finishes here, the dark hardwood floors. And I'm still, no, this, again, staged really, really well. The thing that holds me back on this, there have been some sales, 450, 460. The most recent sale of this model uh, was was during the Christmas season, and it was at 422. So whoever got that home got a great deal. It was on Higginbotham, but I think that it's really gonna affect these guys and their ability to uh, to sell this home, knowing that that one happened so recently. Uh, if anyone's gonna break that that cycle though and and get a good price, I think these guys are certainly capable. Uh, Stringer Circle is at 540. It's a detached home. And it's got four bedrooms. The main floor might be a little small for some people. Uh, there's your family room. And you can see even the iron pickets there. I don't believe, so this room you could only really use as either a living or a dining. I don't think you could combine them. And so that's the only thing it looks like on the floor plan. It's just the, the front dining room, the family room and the kitchen. And then you've got your two bathrooms upstairs. And the rooms look like they're pretty good size as well. And the one thing that I, I'm surprised that they didn't include in the photos, and actually good basement windows here too, but it's a ravine lot, you gotta show that off. That's a huge thing. That's a, that's a competitive difference that this home would have that uh, you know, if it's not the only place you can see it's ravine is right here, like not even the first thing you read in the description. So it's buried in there. So this might be a hidden gem that you could really you know, capitalize on on a lot of buyers not even paying attention to that, not knowing that it's a ravine lot. So uh, Kennedy Circle, I've seen this one before. It's at 569. There's some wonderful features about this home. I think the entrance is very impressive. The uh, the staircase, the wood is, is all done really well. They painted that fireplace a red color and there's there's like a backsplash behind it. So it's I don't know if everyone's going to love that, but if you know for the right person it could really it could be a good thing. Very open concept floor plan, really nice. Even the dining room. So it's like there there's a half wall here so you could put a couch against it, but it's still open. You can see everything and everybody and what's going on. Uh the rooms are good size upstairs. The uh, the kitchen's had some nice I I think they've they've matched the colors well. And uh so there you go. So the basement if they just had spent an extra, I don't know, let's say $3,000 and they fixed up some of the doors and they finished up some of the drywall and they did a better job with the baseboards, they would up the value a whole lot. This basement is just a little bit sort of like handyman looking, and but it's very close to being a really nice basement. So this could be an opportunity for somebody who... Uh, who maybe is willing to do a little bit of work or maybe even just write a check to somebody just to do that final 5% that's gonna really set that basement off. And it's on a 100 foot lot, it's a it's a Madame home. It it fronts onto a, or not Madame, sorry, it's a sundial home and it fronts onto the uh, the soccer field, the baseball, that, that big park there, uh, which I think is a wonderful thing too. So all around good stuff. I'm, I'm impressed, I think the size of the home plus the basement, it's worth it. It's just a matter of a couple little things that you'd want to do in the home. Uh, 20th Side Road, 649 uh, Guelph Line, 20th Side Road. It looks like there's some outbuildings here. 
it's on 10 acres. So a lot of like the, the, the rule is if you're going to do anything, uh, on your property, like a, like a, a machine shop or something, you need that 10 acres. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks like there's not a whole lot happening with the home. It probably needs a bit of work and obviously set up for, uh, for some kind of horse use as well. So yeah, that home doesn't look very <laughs> appealing in the photos, but whatever, you know, it looks like it has a rentable area. So from a cash flow perspective, this one might be a moneymaker. It's really just going through the, uh, the numbers to see if it makes sense. I mean, it's anytime you have those special uses, you really have to look and say, how much would it cost me to convert it? Or if I, if I can use that, what's it going to mean coming back to me? Okay. So Savaline's the next one, 824.9. And so it's 3,300 square feet, nice big 50 by hundred foot piece of property. That's, that's really good. This is, I believe in the foothills development, uh, just starting to close on some of these homes. Impressive looking from the front, 50 by hundred feet. I mean, that's a good old Milton lot. And so inside nine foot ceilings, hardwood floors, pot lights, good looking kitchen here. Although I'm not sure if maybe the builder has to put that final cabinet door on uh, or I don't know, I'm not really sure what's happening there, but these guys have just done it up the right way. Uh, it certainly looks like an impressive home. Uh, you know, it, I think uh, 824, stuff in the 700s is hard enough to sell. Up in the eights, I mean, we've, we've got a record breaker at 880, I believe is the, the biggest sale in New Milton. And it was about this size, plus it had a finished basement, plus there was a pool in the back. I don't know. I mean, I think that, uh, that they'll certainly have uh, challenges. Okay, so uh, it looks like there's a walkout basement, and that would be something that would certainly help their cause for, uh, for just getting some good money for this home. That's a good thing to have in these models. Because people who buy these homes have the horsepower to do things like finish the basement and uh, and a walkout basement can really set a home off. So that's uh, that's the list for today. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call. And, uh, and I hope that you go more towards the side of gathering information early. Keep safe, do the right things, and, uh, and hopefully have us help you. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.